Hello again, Onky Tonks. When I got promoted in the mob, I was summoned in front of the Regimental Sergeant Major for an interview. Everyone did back then. I'm not sure how they operate now. Probably have teas and biscuits with him because it's that woke, the old army. I couldn't imagine serving now. I really couldn't. Anyway. So I slammed my tabs in this office. I was cropping my pants because usually uh, when you're in front of him, you get a bollock in. It's his job to do that. It's his job to be intimidating. And all my RSMs are quite good at that, apart from one who's called Uncle Pete. He was just too nice for that role. <laughs> Winner of the Queen's Gallantry Medal, funnily enough. It's always the nice guys, isn't it? Anyway, so I stood there awaiting the worst. And he said to me, Court Parry, you're a commander now. What do you expect in this man's army? I didn't know. I had no idea. So I said to him, sir, I have no idea. I'm here. <laughs> That'll suffice for now, I think, for myself. He looked at me up and down and he said, fair enough, thanks for your honesty, but before you bugger off out the door of my office, I'll leave you with this bit of advice. And he says, Colt Parry, inside everyone you know is a person you don't. Nodded his head, braced up, about turned and off I went. I wondered what he meant, I really did. But over the years, that piece of advice has served me well, especially in the prison service. And I think because that advice is given me has come true so many times. I'm very skeptical about people and I'm not very trusting. It's hard for me to trust people. It really is. Yeah, it's hard for me to trust people and I will always give people that advice because it's worked for me. Which leads me on to Hugh Edwards. Of course, I'm not comparing myself and the esteemed Regimental Sergeant Major to Hugh Edwards and his depravity. But Hugh Edwards deceived a lot of people, just like others from the BBC and elsewhere. Uh, Wrongans in general. I work with these people in the prison service. They're very clever people. They're not stupid. They're manipulative. They know what they're doing. They know who to target. And they don't have a certain look about them. Uh, Wrongans, that's the problem. They look like you. They look like me. They are normal runner or seemingly normal run of the mill people doing ordinary jobs, their family men, women, young kids. I mean, it's, it's a disgusting deep rabbit hole. I don't really want to go down. But Hugh Edwards is one of them. And this morning he pleaded guilty to everything they've thrown at him, which is the worst kind of images. Category A, B and C, if I remember, on whatever device he downloaded them on. I mean, Good Lord, I I've never understood that. I don't want to. It doesn't do it for me. It doesn't flick my switch at all. Is it a mental illness? Is it just evil? Is it a mixture of both? Who knows? Anyway, let's not go there. Um, which makes me wonder, did people know about this at the BBC? And if so, how many? Did people cover it up? Or did people just ignore it? Just like Jimmy Savile, because Celebrities came out after Jimmy Savile on Operation u and said, yeah, we knew about him, but they didn't do anything, did they? They put their own careers first, just like the Me Too movement. People like Jennifer Lawrence said she was made to sleep um, with various producers and directors, and she did it anyway because of her career. Didn't think of going to the police. That's the thing about these people. If it's wrong, you know it's wrong, it's happening. Do something about it now. Don't wait 20 years down the line to smear someone because they're getting into a, a political position and you don't want them to. But the backstory to Hugh Edwards is uh, he got caught out last year. I think it was last year, the year before. He got caught out. He was giving 30 odd thousand pounds of his wages, which comes from TV license fee payers to a young lad to swap dirty pictures with him. And one picture in particular has him standing with his pants down, his ass in front of the camera and he's looking behind. <laughs> uh, and the lad's parents then went to the papers, didn't go to the police, they went to the papers. The papers went to the police. And so here Edwards checked himself into a, a rehab clinic because, oh, I'm at mental health, innit? It's the mental health gov. It's the old card they use to get a lighter sentence. Will that work or not? Who knows? 
Uh, and then there were loads of other revelations about him and people came to defend him. Uh, left-wing celebrities, most notably lefty loudmouth Jonathan Pye. Now I think Jonathan Pye has had his five minutes. Uh, he was funny for a couple of months and then it's not funny anymore. It really isn't. The guy's out of touch, I think. And in his video addressing Hugh Edwards back then, he said, I look forward to the day I say, Hugh, over to you. He's been victimised. Or words to that effect. That video really hasn't aged very well and he hasn't addressed it, has he? And that's the thing. The lefties have used Jimmy Savile to shame and smear right-wing conservative personalities for years. If you go on social media, they'll drop a photo uh, of them with Jimmy Savile doing whatever and say, I'll just leave this here, assuming that they knew full well what Jimmy Savile was up to. Of course, I'm not saying that Jonathan Pye knew what uh, Hugh Edwards was up to, but somebody knew. Somebody must have known, mustn't they? Could they? Were they a part of it? How many others are there? There's so many questions, there really is. And so there was this massive speculation about who the BBC wrong and was, and names being picked were poor old Jeremy Vine, um, Gary Lineker, people wanted them to be it because they hate them so much. Imagine wanting someone to be a paedophile. Uh, and then a week later, after intense media scrutiny and social media scrutiny, uh, his wife popped up and said, yeah, it's my husband, he's in rehab. The coward got his wife to admit to the world it was him, that he was the wrong one. What an absolute coward. So he's pled guilty. I reckon he's pled that to play the mental health card in the hopes of treatment and a lighter sentence. He'll definitely go to jail for this. Definitely. You don't uh, walk the streets after doing that, having pictures of vulnerable kids and the youngest apparently was seven years old. I, I've, I've had children, I'm a father. I mean, good Lord, I, I don't know what to say. I am disgusted. It makes me sick that there are people like this existing in the world today, even in such privileged positions as, as Hugh Edwards, knowing what Jimmy Savile did and got away with, Rolf Harris, etc. Uh, oh, my Lord. What a, a disgusting nest. I mean, the BBC needs a thorough investigation. No more... Just shut it down. No more TV licence fee money. Nothing. Don't fund them. If they're to carry on in the future, they use adverts like everyone else. Uh, they've terrorised people into paying them money. So Gary Lineker can go on his uh, jet holidays while telling us all about climate change and driving top-end sports cars. And he had a pay rise last year, didn't he, old Hugh Edwards? You paid him. I didn't pay him. I've never paid the TV licence fee. Don't believe in it. I really don't. I'm not giving those people money to, to hate me because of the way I voted, or the way I think. Sod that. Not a penny of my money has gone into Gary Lineker's pockets, nor Hugh Edwards. They can get buggered. That's how I feel about them. So yeah, there we go. He was charged. He pled guilty. Turned up in court with sunglasses and he's off to jail. And he should stay there. He really should. He's clearly a danger. If that's how you feel about kids, then kids aren't safe around you, are they? No cushy house arrest, no priory clinic treatment behind bars, uh, E-wing, and stay there with like-minded monsters, I believe. And before I go, remember this, inside everyone you know is a person you don't stick by those rules, and you won't go far wrong, you really won't. Anyway, I'm done. Have a great day. I'm off to complete the list my the half has given me on such a lovely day on my day off. That's what happens when you have a girlfriend, you see. So, uh, anyway, I'm off. Till the next time, Roger Trout.